New technologies are at the cutting edge in transforming the world and the way we live. The unprecedented amount of data, computational power and the cloud allow for technological developments that could have been called science fiction some months ago. COVID-19 has also stimulated this acceleration with concrete applications of artificial intelligence to track the virus, digital platforms for students to learn and companies to sell online, and with inspiring applications like diagnosis and telemedicine. Maximizing positive impact of AI technologies is high on the international agenda. AI can provide millions of students with support to complete secondary education and fill an additional 3.3 million jobs. It is estimated that the use of artificial intelligence technologies can generate nearly 4 trillion in added value for global markets by 2022, an increase of 70% from 2017. And as AI technologies are spreading at a rapid rate, these numbers will probably go far beyond that. Nevertheless, at the personal level, would you trust a machine to decide on whether you should have access to a bank loan? Would you allow it to make a prediction about your ability to commit a crime? What if it is not clear how such a decision was made? What if you are not even allowed to know the reasoning behind it? It is clear that technologies should not be deciding for us. They should help us to reach the right decisions, but we, human beings, need to be in control. Artificial intelligence evidently can bring downside risk and challenges, even if unintended. Did you know that data-driven algorithms can perpetrate deep-rooted social biases? They might refuse certain banking services to women or give the students from disadvantaged backgrounds lower grades with possible detrimental implications for their future. 14% of existing jobs are to disappear as a result of automation in the next 15 to 20 years. And 35% of those jobs or the existing jobs are going to be transformed completely. So we're talking about half of the stock of available jobs today that are going to change. Access to technology is also highly unequal. Only one out of five AI professionals is a woman. Just 200 firms produce 77% of all innovation. And 11 of the 15 major digital platforms are from the United States and the rest is from China. Today, the international community has no truly global instrument to channel benefits and tackle risk of artificial intelligence technologies. This is what UNESCO wants to support through its work on a recommendation on ethics of artificial intelligence. Altogether, we identified what is at stake, how to manage downside, downsides and risks, and who is responsible if something goes wrong. But we also, of course, want to maximize the benefits of these wonderful technologies. So UNESCO is at the forefront of the largest dialogue between countries, private sector and individuals, the civil society, to build a solid base for the rule of law in the digital world. I'm really thankful, and I speak on behalf of the Director General, to the 193 member states that have chosen UNESCO to be in the forefront of the ethical reflection of these new developments and to elaborate the recommendation on the ethics of AI. This is a truly grand endeavor, because ethics is everything. Ethics is all-encompassing. It covers full protection of human rights and human dignity. It covers non-discrimination. It covers gender equality. It covers the rights of privacy, protection of the environment. It looks at business operation. It looks at, at everything we do and how do we frame it. Thanks to 24 leading experts, head by Emma Rutkam from South Africa, and I want to thank her, our chair, a draft UNESCO recommendation has already been developed and has undergone a wide process of consultations to obtain the many points of view of, of, of our stakeholders. The draft is now to be negotiated ahead of its planned final adoption by member states of UNESCO in November 2021. We are very enthusiastic about this uh, project and we hope it will really have the impact we are uh, looking for. Ethics is the foundation for everything is a moral ground to use these technologies. 
This moral ground is translated into developing solutions from artificial intelligence aligned with human goals and in full respect of human dignity, human rights, and all the values and principles that we believe in and that have proven so important in these tiring times that we are all together facing and, and trying to cope with. The recommendation is exactly about that. It is the basis for ensuring that these technologies enhance the quality of life, it provides for concrete measures to control the downsides, and proposes solutions for current and anticipated problems. The re recommendation will empower you, the public, to oversee the development and make sure that the use of artificial intelli intelligence technology is governed by the rule of law and is focusing on enhancing our quality of life. We invite everyone to join us in this endeavor as artificial intelligence is everyone's business.